This is step eight of the sales and distribution case study. In this we're going to go in and we're going to display the sales order that you just created. So we're on page 30 of the PDF. Um, at the top of the page we're going to go to uh, logistics, down into sales and distribution, to sales, into the order, and this time all we're going to do is we just want to display it, take a look at it, and make sure that everything's okay. Uh, whenever it comes in here, um, you're going to end up having to search for your order uh, this, because the purchase order number or the sales order number probably won't just go ahead and auto populate for you. Go ahead and click on the search field and in the search field write in your three digit number. Again mine's 051. Yours is something different. Put it in. There's your purchase order number. Click on find. It comes up. It should say that this is the one for you double left click it and when you double left click it it'll bring in your number uh, ready to go on uh, uh, ready to, to move you forward so minus four yours is probably something else something will populate in there as soon as you have it what we're saying now is hey let's display uh, sales order number four click on continue and when you click on continue now we've moved on to page uh, 31. What you want to do in this one to get started is we're going to look at the professional touring bike. So if you just click on the professional touring bike, the check marks in there, and then we want to display the availability. Um, and you can see the icon there on your PDF on the top of page 31. It matches this icon here. Uh, if you hover over it you can see that it goes ahead and tells you what that uh, icon means. I'm going to double left click on that availability. Whenever this screen comes up it's telling us that we knew this from before that there were 80 uh, in stock. We have basically now we have gone ahead and we've reserved two of them for um, this new sales order. That, that should make sense to us. Everything uh, is available. Uh, one thing that you can do to go in a little bit deeper to see all of the different background on how this was created is you can go look at the scope of check and it tells you to find the scope of check icon. Uh, if you can't find the icon on your screen, again it's probably uh, due to the size of your screen. Come up here and left click on more. You see scope of check is one of the options. Double left click screen comes up and it says here are all the things that are going into uh, deciding this scope of check. So you could go in and you could modify these uh, if you wanted to. It just shows you a little bit more about how the information is, is being put into the system. You can close this window by clicking on the X there, uh, making it go away. Next thing that we're going to do is let's go ahead and uh, move on and uh, let's go back and check on the uh, the deluxe touring bike. We can go back one screen by clicking here to go back. This takes us to our sales order. Our sales order once again was for five of the deluxe touring bikes, two of the professional touring bikes. This moves us to page 32 and on page 32 what we want to do is we want to look at the deluxe touring bike but this time we want to look at the item conditions uh, the item conditions icon looks like this. Click on it. It brings it up and says this is the item conditions associated with that item. Um, we bought They bought five bikes from us at $3,000 each. We gave them a $250 discount, um, $50 for each bicycle, and then a 5% discount. And so that is the overview that shows you the sales order. Everything looks good. Um, all you need to do now to get back out of this is you can hit the back button twice. It takes you back out to the sales order area and that's all there is to uh, looking up the uh, uh, or to displaying your sales order.